What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. There were a couple of moves made the day before yesterday that I didn't get a chance to talk about yet. So I went and watched a few games of tape on each of our new players and I will give you quick breakdowns on both guys. Also the team signed some players from the practice squad to futures contracts as well. Seven players in total were signed. Those guys were tight ends Chase Allen and Jake Tongas intriguing offensive tackle Kellen Deesh, safety Adrian Colbert, receiver Nasimba Webster, defensive end Jerry Green, and linebacker Kuwani Dang. The two new players signed that I'll be covering today are wide receiver Doris Fountain and defensive tackle Donovan Jeter. First up, I will introduce you to new defensive tackle Donovan Jeter. Jeter went to Michigan, and he was an undrafted free agent from this year's draft class. He's 23 years old and scored a 6.24 on the RAS score. He has nice size at 6'3", 310 pounds. I watched two games of his Michigan tape and will use the critical factors for each position that we uncovered in the Bears scouting school video to check out how each new player fits the Bears. For Jeter, the first critical factor is play strength and power. Jeter excels in this area. He's very powerful at the point of attack. He has a big body, a lot of strength, and good footwork. I give him a 9 here. Next up is his hand usage, punch and shedding ability. His hand usage was all over the place, sometimes very good placement, other times out of place, although he packs a nice punch and can stack and shed blockers. Overall, with his hands, I gave him a 7. Recognition is the next critical factor. He seemed to not make a single play outside of the tackle box on the film I watched, although he did show recognition in the screen game. Incomplete grade here, but I would give him a 5 in recognition. Lastly, balance, and I liked what I saw from Jeter here. He has a nice base and good footwork. He can use his leverage to clog running lanes, but he doesn't have the ideal athleticism. I give him a 7 here. As far as undrafted free agents go, he has some skills to be a nose tackle in our scheme. I would have loved to have given him a shot late this season, considering how bad our defensive tackles were, but signing this late, he's going to face an uphill battle to stick around long term. Next up is wide receiver Doris Fountain. Fountain was a fifth round pick by the Colts in 2018, so Eberflus and company are familiar with him. He's 27 years old and scored an 8.01 on the RAS score. He has nice size and speed, coming in over 6 foot 1 and around 210 pounds. The Bears' critical areas for receivers are release, route running, slash separation, and hand slash ball skills. For release, he has nice burst and acceleration off the line, but he struggles against press coverage. I watched one game of his college tape and portions of two of his preseason games with the Colts. He needs to improve his release if he wants to make it in the NFL. I give him a 6. His route running and separation are tough to judge. He got plenty of separation when he can get off the line and even more at Northern Iowa, but in the Colts preseason tape I watched, he had some struggles getting separation. He faced a lot of press coverage, however when he did get a free release, he uses nice footwork and burst to get open. I give him a 7. His hands and ball skills are also hit or miss. While he has no problem making mid-air adjustments and circus catches, he struggles at attacking the ball in the air and struggles with 50-50 balls. Fountain has some potential, but he also faces an uphill battle to stick around long term. I give his hands a 6 overall. So those are two new guys brought in who have potential but the odds of them sticking around long term are not favorable unless they make a big impression this offseason. I appreciate everyone who watches. Please hit that like button for me. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on new videos. And until next time, bear down.